I think the biggest thing, I mean, like my work ethic, you know, like like has always been, you know, like my biggest strength. And um, yeah, the, the other thing maybe is because, you know, I've, I've played with about 40% of the players that are playing there. I've played with the McKenzie, I've played with guys like Alviro Peterson, Clifford Dickin, Stephen Cook and all those type of guys. So I think that put me, you know, in good stead, you know, like with me starting the job and the guys could identify with me and... Um, and, and the things I can do and um, you know it has been nice I mean uh, you know all, all the support I've got from the players and um, and some you know like, uh, like my old teammates at Soweto Cricket Club as well they've always supported me and, um, and I really appreciate their support hopefully I can make them prouder one day. Oh, well deserved. I'm very happy for Jeff he did a great job you know I mean uh, being his first season and him uh, winning a Ram Slam, sharing a trophy and becoming second, you know, I mean, it's a dream start for him and I'm very happy for him. I think he just kept the simple things simple, you know, he did the basics, he didn't worry about a whole lot of technical stuff, he just let, he just gave guys the responsibility to in and they must just play, you know, so he didn't want to, like, try change a lot of things, he just kept it nice and simple. It's all about opportunity, you know, because, uh, you know, you know, look, I see, like, in our franchise cricket that the black players, you know, or black African players are not given the right opportunities in the sense that, you know, a guy plays one game and then he doesn't play the next three games. I mean, I think it, it's all about backing people and trusting people that people can do the job. And, um, yes, it's been a good start for me. Like, hopefully, I can be a good example to the black African coaches out there. And also the team you've put out there is a team that has shown the true demographics of the country as well. Yes, yes. I mean, uh, at the Lions, uh, I think we're quite fortunate because our development program has worked, has worked very, very well. And um, like we don't have, you know, like even when we select teams, I mean, like we don't look at color at such, you know, which we just selected like the, the best 11 on the day. I mean, guys like Pangiso, guys like Teba Bavuma, Tamit Solekile, Grand Mukwe, Napumi Machikwe, and all those type of guys, like they pick themselves, you know what I mean? We, we don't have to find excuses to try and pick. I wouldn't say because we gave them a chance because they're black or anything, but I think guys that played at the Lions, are, they play on merit, you know, so there's no, we don't have that problem of black people or whatnot. So guys that played, we just played on merit. So I don't think because of obviously he's a black coach and then there's black players that played. I don't think it has anything to do with color. I just think guys deserve to play. We're off to Porch for a start tomorrow. We've, we've got an early start. We're going to Porch for five days for, for a, a training camp. And um, yeah, it's the first time that the team will be together, uh, like like all the players. And um, yeah, it's going to be hard in India. I mean, you know, like, like we're not kidding ourselves. Yes, we go to the final here at home in our own conditions. And then us going to India now, I mean, like there's five of my guys who've been to India and the rest of the squad, you know, have not been to India, including myself. And, uh, you know, it's all about us adapting as quickly as possible to the, co to, uh, to the conditions in India, you know, and just making sure that uh, we just uh, have a good start and uh, just carry the momentum through and uh, do South Africa proud. We're looking forward to it. I think this time we're just a little bit under pressure because guys are expecting things now because they saw what we can actually get somewhere, you know. Then we were underdogs and all of that. So Konamanji, I think it's, it's a matter of we set ourselves high standards, so we just need to live up to those standards.